Welcome to this lecture. So in this lecture, I'm going to create the main quiz screen UI. So let's start this lecture by switch back to your Adobe XD. So in previous two lectures, we have already created a splash screen and a play screen, which is also known as our menu, main menu screen. So when we click on this play button, we want to redirect the user to the another screen, which is called as a main quiz screen, or you can say that as the main activity if you are in a terms of Android, you want to say. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just simply click on this play screen and I'm going to by using shortcut key control CV which is shortcut key for copy and paste. Then I'm going to change the name as main quiz screen. That's our main quiz screen. And from there I just first want to this one. And I'm going to just delete the play button because I don't want the play button in my quiz screen. And I'm also going to delete just placing this one to side because at the end I want it. After some time I need this text view. Not a text view, it's actually a text because in Android terms we call the any text as a text view. So this is my this will be act as my question container if I specify a border. But right now I'm not specifying a border. So what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to delete this one. So I'm going to use a rectangle tool, means our shape draw tool, and I'm going to create a shape. Then I'm just going to unfill the field because I don't want to fill it with, and the border I'm going to raise it to 3. Then I'm going to just, by pressing control, and I'm going to increase the zoom. And by pressing the middle button, that's angle is fine. And again, I'm going to select the pick tool. So this is my question container and I'm going to place it just on the middle of the screen from both vertically and horizontally. So I'm going to select this one and by pressing shift key, I'm going to select the background. Then by clicking on this button and this again, but I want to be just on a horizontally aligned. So I'm going to just selecting it and making it to the top of the screen. So that's the place where I want our my question container. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to decrease the size of the question container because the question container I don't want to be too big. So that's fine. This is where my question will be displayed. Means the quiz question will be displayed inside of this question container when I'm going to code it into inside the Android Studio. So again, I'm going to select it and I'm going to just click on this shadow. And from there, not shadow, I just want it to background blur. And from there, I'm going to select it and object blur and again I'm going to reduce this object blur amount so increase the object blur so that's it what I want it gives a little lightning to the background a splashy effect and I'm going to again copy and paste and from there I don't want a object blur and also the fill so that's and I'm going to again give it to a little background color as a white color means the border color as a white color not too white just a little darkish so that's the color that I want now what I'm going to do I'm going to select this one and also the background now I'm just open my layer panel so from there I'm going to select is the So this is my rectangle 4 and this is my rectangle 5. So I'm going to click on align button so it will be aligned properly at the center of the screen. So this will be aligned horizontally both in the same direction. Then I'm going to group it by pressing Ctrl G and I'm going to name it as question container. Then hit enter. So that's it for my question container. Again, I'm going to click on the shape tool and I'm going to draw another rectangle which is for my option A. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just unfill by just click on this check button. So it will unfill the and I'm going to increase the border size to 3 and hit enter not 3, not 33. Just press control undo and I'm going to select the pick tool. And from there it's actually accidentally I have written 33 so I want a 3 so that's it what I want 
now it's actually looks good and again i'm going to click it and align it to the vertically and again i'm going to select it, this option and again i'm going to control cv for quick copy and paste then this is what i want just a 20 dif pixel difference between the means a 20 pixel space between these two ui then again i'm going to select this one and also this one this one and this one and control cv then it will give us a two more duplicate copy of the two options so this is for my option one this is for option two this is for option three and this is for option four then again i'm going to copy means again i'm going to click this one this is the last one and again i'm going to control v for copy and paste and i'm going to place it just below this the artboard edge at the bottom and i'm going to increase and here i also i'm going to increase and from there i don't want the border instead i want a fill so i want a fill just a little darkest red so that's the color i want now i'm going to press ctrl s for save now the changes that i have made will be saved now from there i'm going to place a vector graphic for the wrong question means how many questions user gets wrong during the quiz play and then here i'm going to place a vector drawable for right question then how many questions user get right during the quiz play so what i'm doing i'm going to minimize it because i already downloaded the vector files so i'm going to select this one and i'm going to drag it into my adobe xd and there i'm going to place it so this is my this is my vector drawable for right uh, question so i'm going to place it here and this is for my wrong questions and i'm going to select it let me first zoom it little bit so i'm going to select first this one and this one as well and i'm going to align it not by this one not at the middle one i'm going to align it vertically now it's perfectly aligned so i'm going to place it just in the middle of the screen so that's okay because in android studio we're going to code it manually means we're going to coding so we can adjust the spacing by coding in xml file right now just for the demonstration purpose i'm using adobe xd to just make a little bit overview how our app final ui will be look like because instead of spending time directly on coding you will get nothing but first you make some mockups in your adobe xd in the software in adobe xd that i'm using you will get a rough overview what will be the your final application will be look like so now i'm going to use this text that i want and i'm going to just decrease the size just placing it front of this and i'm going to increase i'm going to place it just this one this is the right vector drawable by selecting it to the right it's more right and just increase the hair size as well because i don't want it when i just export it so extra spacing will be in the control v by selecting the play text again and placing it here so i'm going to here just specify 0 1 because user has made only one question correct and here i'm going to specify 12 that the user has made 12 wrong attempts of the question i'm going to change the color to just a white just i just for change the color to just little dark case gray because that's not look cool so that's look nice now i'm going to change it to green and this one to red so this is a quick screen wrong and right question answers ui so i'm going to select this one this one again and this one and this one again and i'm going to click on so it will be perfectly aligned vertically then hit ctrl s for saving now and also i want a timer so i'm going to use a, now is this time i'm going to use a circle shape tool and then pressing shift key so i'm going to create a proportionally perfect circle then what i'm going to do i'm going to increase the border to 12 so it gives us a nice rounded spiral type circle means the double bordered circle and what I'm going to do, I'm going to just color it border to green. And the mid, I'm going to clear it a uh, black. Not a black, I just want the same color, just like this one. 
and I'm going to place it at the here but it is very big so I'm, first I need to decrease the size also I want to decrease the border just 8 is enough then I'm going to place it at the mid of this screen so it will automatically align due to our smart guide and what I'm going to do I'm going to just copy and paste it again this text and I'm just going to place it middle and here I'm going to specify 30 seconds because our quiz time will be 30 seconds but when the quiz time means when the 30 seconds is completed then we want to make it is red and also want to pop up a dialog that times up and the quiz is fade so that's for the designing of the main screen quiz so in next lecture what we are going to do we are going to create more UI when we select the option then we want to create that UI as well or when the user gets the correct answer then we want to create that UI as well and when the user makes a wrong attempt means the question gets wrong then we want to indicate the wrong option with the red so all of these things we are going to do in our upcoming lecture for now it's okay for this lecture so thanks for watching and i will see in the next lecture if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel and also share this video to your friends